what you're looking for in the esophagus is, is it doesn't normally have this two-toned kind of appearance. Again, right to Sana's point just now, that to know what, what abnormal looks like, you often have to have a sense for what normal looks like. So what we would really expect is just continuity of this nice pink mucosa all the way down. And so what you're seeing here, though, is, is likely a reflection of what we call intestinal metaplasia of the esophagus, where it has now transformed from this um, squamous epithelium that is pink into this different, more columnar type epithelium that is red. And so um, the association that we want you to know for this is gastroesophageal reflux disease. And what happens is incompetence of that lower esophageal sphincter over time leads to exposure of gastric contents and gastric acid to the um, esophageal mucosa leading to this uh, metaplastic response. Um, the thing that you guys should think about is esophageal adenocarcinoma in this context. This is the main risk factor. It's almost like when you think about the adenoma to carcinoma sequence that's happening within the colon, it's almost like you can think about it similarly. This is kind of the stepping point from starting out with normal to not quite right to then developing esophageal cancer. This is kind of that middle phase. Um, and so, uh, and so and another nice tip or thing that I've that can help you remember some details or some factoids is uh, we're in the lower part of the esophagus because that's where GERD is going to be happening and that's where you tend to see adenocarcinoma as a result of that, as opposed to squamous, which tends to be a little bit higher up. Um, so any other, any, any other teaching points or learning points that you impart to students when talking about this? Yeah, no, I think you hit the, the biggest issues, which are, I think the language that you'll often see is sometimes what is tested. So especially for step one, they love this, the non-keratinized stratified square, like the, literally that phrase, they just burn it into your brain. Um, and again, the association with adenocarcinoma. And sometimes how I've seen this tested, sort of apart from the visual component, is um, this process of this conversion most mirrors what other histologic process. So again, they'll try to get you with the idea of a metaplasia. So they'll compare this metaplasia with a metaplasia of a different organ. And again, a pro-cancerous um, sort of development is sometimes how this can be tested. 